Now, CBS 46 Pinpoint Weather, certified Atlanta's most accurate forecast. Pollen, second lowest level today of the entire month. Still at moderate, but the count was 39 as opposed to being in the 1,000s a couple of weeks ago. So we're definitely past the peak of pollen season. It will continue to decrease as we head into May. Here's a look at our next storm system. It looks pretty robust in the Midwest right now. A lot of severe thunderstorms through Arkansas, parts of Louisiana as well. This is actually going to move to our north. So it's going to bring parts of Tennessee and the Tennessee Valley isolated severe storms for the day tomorrow. We're going to see that here as well. We're under clear skies now, but clouds will increase overnight and give way to thunderstorms through the afternoon. It will be very mild tomorrow morning, low to mid 50s, very similar to the way it felt outside this morning. So all you runners, yeah, it's going to feel great for the morning run. An isolated shower or two is possible through the first half of the day, but again, it's it's really just going to be the later afternoon and evening hours where areas north of Atlanta see about a 30% chance for isolated thunderstorms. These thunderstorms that do move through are likely to have hail embedded in them. So that's going to be the main threat through the day tomorrow. So once again, looking at your day, you begin the day in the 50s, we're actually going to end it near 80 degrees. So it's going to be quite warm. It will be breezy to even windy as well. That breeze will be coming out of the south though. So it's going to be a warm breeze. Mostly cloudy skies, some sunshine in the late afternoon hours, and again, isolated thunderstorms mainly in the higher elevations tomorrow afternoon and evening. Here's a look at the severe weather outlook. Uh, it's a level one risk for Atlanta and areas north with all of the risks being low, strong wind, hail, and tornado. But any of these isolated storms that do pop up could have one inch hail embedded in them. So if you live in the higher elevations, you see a storm headed your way, take the car, park it in the garage or under a covered area if you can. Again, it's gonna be really windy tomorrow. Look, wind gusts to 43 miles per hour in Blairsville, 29 in Atlanta. So yeah, very breezy but then it stays breezy on Sunday behind the system. Wind gusts still above 30 miles per hour, but the wind will shift to coming out of the north. So instead of being a warm breeze, it will be a much cooler breeze and that will usher in cooler temperatures. Temps will be down about 15 degrees on Sunday. It will feel a lot more like spring 50s and 60s. You will need the jacket through the day and isolated showers once again will be possible in the mountains on Sunday. So not the best weekend, but the rain chances are on the low side. Overall, over the next seven days, our next big storm system is on Wednesday, but this one does not look nearly as severe as the ones we've seen the last few weeks. So not too bad of a seven day forecast. We have plenty of days over the next seven days with lots of sunshine and temperatures in the 70s.